V, it's good you're here. What happened? Spit it out. The wraiths took Saul. The brick brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure, it was wraiths. We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Saul. I don't know why, but I felt I could count on you. Belong to a nomad family, too, once. City doesn't change us all that much, I guess. That's hard to deny. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Grad. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. Well, I'll be. Pan Am and V, what's going on there? Her? After what happened to Scorpion, she shows up here? Guess probably for Saul. Ignore that. Hey, Pan Am. Seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. Huh. You never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Their problem? Just that if we're looking outside, we must be a hot mess inside. That's why we'll go in quiet. A frontal assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up recon. V will sneak into the Wraith's camp while I'll be her guardian rifle. Wait, meaning it's just gonna be us two? What about all you guys? Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek, static. And I don't know if we're ever gonna find or fashion a paddle. Try as we... Leader gets nabbed and you what? Hope for the best? Rather not think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! She has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look, or would you rather keep mouthing off? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in, with a mass of heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time, do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. If he's still there, we have to find a way inside. That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in? Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections.
Do you see the tracks? Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? That's probably the one they kept Saul in. The main building, there. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. Be like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. If they haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local camnet. You would just need to find the control room. Skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Okay, got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Yep. Let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. What do you think? All that's going on. My stint in Mexico taught me there's actually. no hole you I can't crawl out of. But to do that, sure helps having a god in hand, if you catch my meaning. Saul. You want my two Ennis? Without him, all this comes unglued. Looks like someone doesn't enjoy waiting patiently. I'd rather move my ass than sit on it, that's for damn sure. But when the clan's decided, it's decided. That's the way things are. I don't know. Maybe it'll be our own undoing. You know, we could use a war vet's expertise. Sure you're staying back? I'm sure every passing second puts Saul another step closer to death's door. Go on, V. Get him out of there. So, what? You're at the helm of the clan now? Something you'd like to say? Just curious. Looks like you're in charge of the camp with Saul gone. I simply have the loudest opinions. And just so happens most folks tend to agree with them. But I'd like to be clear. What you and Pan Am aim to do, I'm grateful. Even if your plan has little chance of succeeding. Aren't you the optimist? A realist. But good luck all the same. Try not to die. How do you see our chances? I was helping Mitch with the drones, and truth be told, it doesn't look good. Those parasites knew just where and how to hunker down. If you want to know my take, I think Pan Am's right. In and out quietly's our best bet. I want to get myself chipped. Straight to the point. I like it.
Recommend any chrome in particular? Eh, you know, side brand plantations like buying shoes. Everyone needs something different. A net runner won't have the same needs as a solo. But if you spend a lot of time in the Badlands, it's worth investing in cloaking gear. Hollow skin, active camo, what have you. Compared to the city, surrounding area might look deserted. But less folk doesn't mean you'll be safer. Here's what I recommend. Move quietly. Don't draw too much attention, else things can get real ugly real quick. I know. I was raised by the backers. Ah, well, I don't have to tell you then. Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet, a rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. Hope so. Doubt I could carry him on my back. So that should be everything. V, will you ride with me? Yeah. Of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. Want me driving? Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. Take it for a spin if you like. I can't believe he let himself get captured. Anyone else? But Saul? Said yourself he's not at the top of his form. Yes, but moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? Hijacking a petrochem tanker? Opening the valves? Cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show? That's the Saul I remember. All had our idols. I know. It's just. Holy... 
Do you see that? That is one hell of a storm. Looking bad. Oh, it's bad in more than its look. We have to move quickly. Okay, let's go over the plan again. You slip into the Wraith's camp, soft as a fox. But if things... We need to hide the car. Park beside that outcrop. Okay, out. I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight. You just watch yourself down there. Penam. Found Saul, I think. Locked in the cellar. How is he? 
Uh, it's hard to say. Too dark. Okay, get down there and get him. Maybe we made it in time. I'm in position. I have you in range. Keep your eyes peeled. I see several heavy hitters. Good way to get to the garage. From there, you can access a footbridge leading to the main structure. And nothing to be shy about.
and nothing to be shy about. Okay, main building. Watch for vermin. You 
The sniper is no longer a problem. Keep moving. Got a girl here, dead, disemboweled, and not just for her chrome, I don't think. Fucking raffins, soulless filth. There's no line they won't cross, none. on him. Is he breathing? I think so. Good. Grab him and get out of there. The 
Saul? To... to... to you. Have my goddamn cigar. Easy, Saul. I'm here with Pan Am. Pan Am? Not forever. Gonna get you out. You. I remember. You're that merc. You're pretty badly beat. Probably could use this. Uh. Oh, yeah. So? How is he? Time to don my dancing shoes. Now get yourselves out of there. On our way out now. I'm firing up the engine. I'll be right there. You. Got by the posted guards. Uh-huh. And if we can be just as sly together, might get out without firing a shot. Exactly. There should be a quick exit out of the cellar. storm is picking up steam. Good. It'll cover our tracks. Anyway, we have good reason not to head straight back to camp. There's no need to play it safe. We'll just burn time. Better late and safe than dead. Just whip us off this road. We need to find shelter. The Ingalls farm? Good idea. You two know him? No one's lived there a while. Biotechnica saw to that.
Do you see those buildings? We'll wait it out there. I remember this place. It should be safe, at least for now. Inside, quick! I need to catch my breath. Uh, uh, just in time for dinner. Not hungry. I just swallowed a pound of sand. Looks like we're in for the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, V? I'll search in here. A lot of useful things. The angles left in a hurry. Biotechnica made them a good offer. Yeah, prime. Sell us your land. Or... You don't know. No bulldozers. No backhoe loaders ever showed up. Lousy, rotten way to get them out. Deal with the corp. You end with nothing, Saul. Don't go there. Not now. I tried to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this junk burned. See what I see? Expiration day's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky? Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? Go on, get off your feet. It could be ours. No, no lecture. But we do need to talk. That Wraith's crap. It shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything. Our camp locations, routes, offloading points. If they knew what state we're in, one or two more raids and that'd be the end of us. And if you had mounted a raid of your own, well... Uh, not the time for this. You're both exhausted. Maybe you're right. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? Vade, tell him it's a damn rotten idea! Don't be mad, but I think Saul could be right. What? Why? 
clan's future. It's survival. That's what's at stake. Mm-hmm. Did you hear me talking about something else? Compared the Raffins to locusts? I mean, Biotechnica's got experience with pests. Hear that, Pan Am? That is the voice of reason. All I hear is the fucking wind. We've had our spats. A few. Like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so, too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Haboobs. Damn, I love that word. Whoa, what was that about? Two haboobs. Yeah. Two haboobs. Ooh. Now that packs octane. And? Think this is any better? No. Just different. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? Little fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, ma'am? Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for more. Ma'am, I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes off. <laughs> After a full day in them, I'd fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. Oh? And what did you have in mind? Got a few ideas. Think you know what kind. Uh... <clears throat> the... No. It's really nice as is. Let's not spoil it, okay? I... I'm... I'm sorry. I... I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, it's fine. Truly. Don't let it worry you. Right. So, friends, then. I think that would be best. And V, I am glad you came. It meant a lot to me. Ooh, do you hear that? Uh, nope. Mm -hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but when a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plain, I sure can't get any, should I? Not a wink. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams. Who's alive? Hey, did you sleep all right? Good work, V. Old style raid. 
You gotta agree now. Next time I choose the motel. <laughs> if there is such a time. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. <sighs> it's too bad I better get rolling in a minute. Hang on. Thought you were headed back to the Alda Caldos. Staying with the clan. That remains so. Come on. <coughs> Last night, when we were talking to Saul, both of you spewed some trouble. But I do have to grant him one thing. The wraiths, the raid. It's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Whereas you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Alda Caldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. Putting her in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Glad I could help. Glad I did. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. And remember, I'm indebted. Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback. <laughs>